We like to spend some time on Sunday mornings talking about Bible prophecy. We consider ourselves futurists. That means uh, we understand that there are a lot of prophecies that are yet to be fulfilled in the future. We always try and draw from reliable sources to find things in the world that that you would expect from uh, reading your Bible. Uh, We're not saying that these things are the fulfillment of prophecy, just things that you would expect. Uh, People want to know if COVID-19 has anything to do with Bible prophecy, and I would say not directly. And by that I mean it isn't a pestilence from the book of the Revelation. Uh, The things you read about in chapters 6 through 19 in the Great Tribulation uh, happen after the rapture of the church, and uh, that hasn't happened yet unless uh, I missed it. Uh, (laughs) Indirectly, the global response to the pandemic, I think, does potentially have a prophetic impact. We've been pointing out for decades that in the last days and then going into the Great Tribulation, the Bible predicts a world that is united in commerce and there's going to be some sort of technology by which everyone can be identified and conduct all their business. The technology has been around for some time to actually do this, but it didn't really catch on globally until this pandemic. And so I think what COVID-19 has done is accelerated the acceptance of invasive technologies that are going to be used as we move forward and approach the Great Tribulation. According to Barclays, COVID-19 crisis has changed our approach to digital technology for good. I would submit to you that people will act in the same way water flows to the point of least resistance, says Ashok Vaswani, Barclays CEO of Consumer Banking. People are going to continue with what makes their life easy, and once they learn how to do something digitally, they aren't going back. And then a new generation comes along, and they don't know anything other than digital. Joseph Jessup, who heads up the Barclays team in digital payments, predicted a permanent acceleration towards digital banking. I don't think there's anybody in the organization who is not convinced that digital is the way to go. Here are some excerpts from an article titled, Accelerated Trends Due to COVID-19. Over the past six months, a host of temperature detection, access control, and related biometric systems to tackle COVID-19 have been developed. Besides fingerprint recognition systems, other biometric technologies like voice, facial, and even vein pattern recognition have entered the market. Contactless biometric technologies have gained momentum as they help verify personal identities without any physical contact with the security infrastructure. By 2026, Research and Markets.com expects the global contactless biometric technology market will reach $18.6 billion. Looking ahead, further development in artificial intelligence and machine learning will overcome ID problems and push biometrics to the next level. The need for early detection of anomalies in public areas as well as contactless identification will noticeably accelerate the growth. That's a scary statement, by the way. Uh, what would anom- Who considers an anomaly in public places, right? Our meeting this morning is an anomaly in a public place, by the way, since we're not technically supposed to be meeting indoors. Did you, you, you knew that, right? <laughs> so once we're all uh, connected uh, digitally uh, to Big Brother, I guess, uh, then they'll know we're here. And uh, it, it, it'll be interesting to see how they use this technology. The following is from a web posting on a site called citizen.org. COVID-19 dramatically has changed how we think about the workplace. As businesses reopen and workers return, the spread of the coronavirus is a serious concern. Amid the unrelenting first wave of infections and the prospect of recurring future waves, employers have been turning to new technologies to mitigate the risks, introducing a vast array of apps, wearables, and other technologies. In a work setting where activities are governed by a a contractual or power relationship, many workers either must accept the new high-tech workplace surveillance or risk using their, uh, losing their jobs. The speed at which these new technologies have been employed is concerning. And so it goes on to talk about Fitbit and Amazon. Both released a new workplace surveillance tool on June 16th. 
uh, and on and on. And so they're just talking about how, and some of you probably are in industries right now that are doing this. If, if you don't uh, do what they want you to do and identify yourself and participate and take a test or whatever, uh, you, you're not going to work there anymore. You're going to be barred from the premises. And so this is the new normal that we're headed for. Now, before COVID-19, it seemed unlikely that you could get global agreement on something like this, that everybody would say, great, take my freedom away, here's my privacy, sign me up. Uh, I want to be, you know, uh, connected to this thing. And now uh, it's just going to happen on its own because everybody is afraid of the coronavirus uh, and the government has figured out that they can force things on us. Uh, and so uh, what we are been talking about for decades in terms of just the preparation for the Great Tribulation seems like it happened overnight. Now, we, of course, believe the resurrection and rapture of the church is imminent. That means it could happen at any moment. Nothing needs to happen before the Lord comes for his church, and it's definitely going to happen before the tribulation. Jesus will return in the clouds. He raises the dead in Christ. And then he transforms the bodies of living believers into their glorified resurrection bodies. Then we will all join him in heaven while the earth endures that final seven-year campaign of really evangelism as uh, the Lord is, yes, pouring out his wrath, but in grace to lead people to Christ. Are you ready for the rapture? If not, get ready and stay ready and keep looking up because ready or not, Jesus is coming.